In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your personal email on the AT&T Centro. The first thing we want to do is actually set up the email button so that it launches the Palm email program. By default, out of the box, when you press the email button, it actually shows you an interface where it asks you what you want to do with the email button. And amazingly, none of these options allow you to set it to the email application. So what we'll do is press the house button which is the application launcher. When you press the house button multiple times, it will scroll through all of the categories of applications uh, that are available on the Centro. With the word all showing at the top of the screen, we'll scroll down and select preferences. You can also hit the P key on your keyboard to go to the applications that begin with P. So let's select preps. In the preps, we can scroll down and select buttons because what we want to do is assign the email button to launch the email application. You'll notice that right now it says unselected, which is why that interface comes up that asks you what you want to do. Here we'll just select from the list. I'm going to use the E on the keyboard to scroll down to email and select email as the option. Once email is selected, I can then go down and select done to save that setting. Now when I press the email button, rather than being prompted to assign it to an application, it's going to actually be assigned to the email app. So after pressing the email button, the initial setup dialog is displayed. Here we want to select the continue button to continue setting up our first email account. If your first email account is already set up and you need to know how to set up a second account, we'll do that in just a minute. So what we're going to do here is select or enter our email address. As soon as I start typing the domain of my email address, you'll notice that the device is smart enough to recognize that I type gmail.com. I can very simply position the cursor in the password field and now enter the password. One thing to note about Gmail you need to enable IMAP access on your Gmail account before you're going to be able to retrieve email on your Centro from Gmail. The URL listed on the screen gives you more detail on that. Once you're finished entering your email address and password, you're basically finished setting up Gmail on your Centro. Tap the Done button and your Centro will prompt you to say, hey, do you want to go and get email from that Gmail account now? Simply tap Yes and it will connect to the Internet. Now, once you, if you've never connected to the Internet with your Centro, or if you have the preference on your Centro to prompt you when you connect to the Internet, then you'll need to tap Yes every time you want to connect to the Internet with your Centro. To avoid that, just check the box that says Never Ask Me Again, and now when your Centro needs to grab data from the Internet, it'll do so automatically without As you can see, the Gmail is now loaded into my account. At this time, I'm going to go and set up a second email account. So all I need to do is press the menu button. You'll notice the menus are displayed at the top of the page. Move over to the accounts menu and select account setup. Here, I'm going to select the new button in order to create a new account. Once again, I'm going to simply enter in my email address. This time I'm going to set up an AOL account. I'll also enter in the password to that account and then select Done. Since AOL and Gmail and those types of services are well known, the Centro can very easily configure those email accounts for you. I'll tap Done and once again I'll say yes because I want the device to go and grab those emails for me. By default, the email accounts are configured to get the unread messages in the inbox for the last three days. I'm going to show you in a little bit how to change those preferences if you want to get more or less email that's available in your account. 
So let's set up one more email account. I'm going to once again press menu, tab over to the accounts menu and select account setup. Once again, we'll tap new and here I'm going to enter a Yahoo address. You'll notice when I select, when I just type YA, yahoo.com is automatically populated. You'll also notice that Yahoo is another, sub, an, another service that requires additional information or additional service in order to use remote access. So rather than set up Yahoo, let me just type in a domain that maybe the Centro doesn't know about. Maybe you have a personal email account hosted at yourname.com. And I'll just type in uh, a password here and hit next. Now since it's an email account that the device doesn't know about, here you're going to have to enter in the type of email account that it is. Is it a POP or an IMAP and what the server name is. You'll notice however that on AT&T you will automatically be populated here for the outgoing mail server of CWMX.com. It's okay to leave it just as it is because AT&T hosts this outbound email server What I'm going to do now is simply cancel this because it's not a real email account. And yes, I'm going to cancel that setup. So now I have two email accounts set up on my device. The email button is already mapped so that it will launch the email application. And now when I press the email button, it will actually toggle between the two accounts that I have set up. If I had three or four or five different email accounts set up, each time I press the email button, it would scroll through those accounts. So here at my Gmail account, I'm going to set up a couple of preferences just to show you what's available. First thing I'll do is press the menu button. Up under the menu, I'll select the options menu and then preferences. The first preference I want to change is the display. I want to change how the inbox is viewed. One thing I can change here is the font. So I'll select the font dialog. And let's say I'll change it to Gil Sands MT. One nice thing about that font is I can select a smaller size. Therefore, I'm going to fit more emails on the screen. Another thing I like to do is to have my unread items shown in a different color than the items that I've already read. Another item I can change here in preferences is how items that are deleted are handled. By default, the device will prompt you every time you delete an email. I'm going to turn that off. Last but not least here under deletion, I'm going to also check the box that when I delete an email from my device, it will also be deleted from the server. Another option we can set is how we want to have incoming email delivered. As I mentioned previously, the default is to only get unread messages. I'm going to uncheck that so any read messages or items that are, uh, that are marked as read in my inbox will also come over to my Centro. I'm also going to increase the window to let's say one month. So now my device will get the first five kilobytes of all email in my inbox from the last month. I'll tap OK to save that. One last option I want to set here is the signature. So I want to set an automatic signature every time I send an email from my, from my AT&T Centro. And I'll just type it in here, sent from my Palm Centro. And now every email that goes out from my device will go out with that signature. I'll tap OK to save these preferences. You'll notice that my inbox looks significantly different. All the unread messages are displayed in green. If I were to go and view one of those messages, you'll notice, for instance, in this one, the message says truncated because it's greater than that 5 kilobyte limit. I can very easily download the rest of it using this icon on the right side. What I simply wanted to show you is that now when I go back to my inbox, that item, because I read it, is now labeled with a black text. We hope this information will be valuable to you in setting up your personal email accounts on the AT&T Centro. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.